Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting. Um, there's accelerated motion into triumphant success right now. So again, just make sure that you're standing in your power, understanding that you have full dominion and authority over any type of low vibrational energy that's coming towards you because i definitely feel like it's being projected it's a lot of stuff that's in the background a lot of these people perhaps in your life they won't come towards you they won't come right out and say that they dislike you or anything else like i said the heart chakra here um and firm foundation so i definitely feel that people could have an issue with you being someone who wants to be very solid when it comes to creating and building your own firm foundation. We have two fours here and two eights. So this has a lot to do, of course, with, um, like I said, just overall your your protection, protecting your heart, protecting your possessions, protecting whatever it is that you're building. Sometimes, you know, you can't come right out and, and tell people what it is that you're working on because you're in this power right now it's like you're a force to be reckoned with and a lot of people are going to have things to say so you could be thinking about right now um starting a family starting a business moving relocating whatever it is and this is you being fully in your truth it's crazy how the cards are pretty much saying exactly what i just said <laughs> And moving on, you're in your truth. You know for a sure fact that you want to move on from certain partnerships and alliances into something that's going to be more positive for you. And you want to make sure that you're just not allowing your the shadow aspects of yourself or other people even to cause you to have this mental chaos and conflict. The third eye chakra is here and the transformation with heartache and loss. So I think that a lot of people in crown chakra, you're coming into this awareness about a lot of different things that's happening around you. I feel that you've been very patient, maybe suffering inside but it's like you get to have a brand new beginning here all right um Rhea there's something here that you're going to be able to celebrate emotional withdrawal and then being trapped in fear some of you have been just afraid of success or you've been afraid to show who you are and what you want to work towards because maybe there's a bit of you know imposter syndrome like I said it's almost like that hate crime um image that I saw like some people because of the energies that's been around you you've been very afraid to just step out and take that leap of faith and and display how strong you truly are so you're needing to really go within and realize that you're very very strong spiritually there are certain things in life that have made you feel a little bit weak <clears throat> excuse me or even weak-minded at times but this is of course it is attack of an attack of the enemy it's to break you down mentally so that you will be broken down of course emotionally energetically and spiritually so really really be mindful of this some of you you're needing to withdraw yourself from people places and things that um cause you to feel like you are isolated or like you have to be trapped in fear there could definitely be you know a bit of their narcissistic abuse or ptsd or um like low grade depression anxiety fear i'm just getting like some type of suffering here and again it's almost like a hate crime like after something really really traumatic happens to you from that point on it's almost like it goes from you being very cautious about things to actually being paranoid i feel like spirit is saying right now you want to come out of that state of fear and paranoia again choose wisely what you choose to listen to where you choose to go who you choose to share your energy with but there's a lot of infinite abundance that's coming to you here we have four eights okay so definitely something here um, about your cycles your patterns you moving forward communication but of course you have to get out of your mind and out of your emotions okay be very very stable and grounded like I said the energy right now is very peaceful but it is raining outside it's like there is something that is dark it's gloomy and it's it's lingering perhaps around you but you have to be sure that like I said, do not allow this to have you in two minds about where you know you're supposed to be going right now because your breakthrough is here, all right? And this is, of course, the time where the enemy will begin to really try to attack you when you have that breakthrough that is coming, all right? So just be mindful of that. I always say don't break before the breakthrough, all right? Um, something very beautiful is coming in for you, though. So let's just see. This is material and um, spiritual prosperity. So you could have, like I said, a new job, a, a large purchase you're making. You could be paying off debt. You could be saving for something. You could be going back to school. You could be getting some type of certification. All right. You also, um, I just heard ordained. You could have been ordained to do something. Um, some of you, you know, depending on who you are, what you're doing at church, you could be called to do something in church. Um Spiritually, some of you are being asked to really connect more with your ancestors, your spirit guides, your in your angels. You know, some people get into different, you know, deities and stuff like that. That's totally up to you what you choose to worship and believe in. Um, 
but some of you it's just it's time for you to take your spiritual practices and your spiritual hygiene to the next level um i feel like it's going to be very very good for you in this next season because with you having so many things being projected onto you it's like you really do need to have that very solid foundation with god with your angels your guides and ancestors because a lot of you you are experiencing these crown chakra attacks people are trying to take a stab at your root chakra your crown chakra your heart people want you to feel this heartache and loss because let's face it if in fact you are in a state of fear or um suffering in silence is very easy for the enemy to be able to attack you so just keep your your energy really high at this time as best as, as you can i don't know why so many cards are coming out <laughs> at one time so we have here the ace of pentacles and the ten of swords so like i said there's a very prosperous stable and secure type of beginning that's coming in for you a lot of windfall of abundance here some of you also with the ace of pentacles um that to me it, it signifies that you've made good choices okay um justice is here karmic justice is being served right now we're in scorpio season and what i've noticed is that there are endings and new beginnings and they're happening simultaneously so you know it's definitely right now where a lot of people are in between worlds you may be leaving a job and you know in the next few weeks you're going to a new job or you're leaving a job and you're starting a business or you know you're divorcing someone but maybe you've already met someone and it was just a chance encounter and it looks like it's a good situation for you um just a lot of endings and new beginnings and they're happening all at once which is why you have to be careful of what you choose to focus on because the ending some of them they can be heartbreaking they can um be painful but you have to know that right at the same time that that's happening something really good is happening and manifesting and that makes perfect sense with the ace of pentacles and the ten of swords so yeah there could be deception betrayal there could be um sadness okay but these endings they bring new beginnings so you don't really want to focus too much on the negative there's definitely something happening with some of you wow look at that cherry i'm telling you have that tunnel vision just keep moving forward the ten of cups wow this is so good the page of pentacles yeah it's like you plant this and then the three of cups here so there's something to celebrate with the justice card being here wow this is really good you're just moving into a time of you really having wish fulfillment and happiness. I feel like um, you're going to start meeting people who are more dependable in your life. It's like really good. Some of you are really about to receive a major, major um, promotion or good news. Um, I know this time of year for those people who are, you know, in the corporate world, this is definitely the time of year where people start doing end of year evaluations and stuff like that. Some of you can expect a... Um, in the next three to 10 weeks, that's getting closer to the end of the year. There's two tens out here. You guys, for some of you, someone here is really going to be getting a major promotion. Um, someone here could be in law school possibly or graduating for some type of academy. I don't know, very specific things are coming in today. Um, I'm definitely getting something here though. I don't know if someone is in law school or if you're, you know, studying to be a paralegal or something like that that's very specific but it's something here that someone has been working on or studying and i feel that because you have been very organized and because you've been taking whatever this is very seriously whatever this area of study is for you or this project that you've been working on whether it's something with work or it's something creative um something entrepreneurial or what in the community Whatever it is, it's really going to pay off. Like you're going to have a reason to really, really celebrate very soon. Okay. You know, of course, the end of the year also celebrations, holidays, families are gathering. Some of you can expect, you know, um, you to go into committed relationships where, you know, you may make it Facebook official. <laughs> I literally heard Facebook official. Um, the announcements of pregnancies and just good things is all coming to you and it, it comes from a time of you working very hard on something with the ten of cups being out here also i feel like some of you even within your family you could be moving forward um healing certain situations within your family dynamic whether this is your immediate family like someone you're married to or that you have kids with or even just in your family um this is a good time for you to spend more time with your elders i feel i i i don't know i guess it's just that time of year too where the seasons are really changing and people are really going within. But the justice card is here. So again, it's you looking looking at things. I feel like you've really had to stand up against a lot of things. Um, yeah, here, cutting the deck, the justice and the queen of swords. 
it's like some of you you're re you're releasing almost like this coldness about yourself because some of you maybe you've become a little bit cold um or or more calculated than normal like i said more cautious and paranoid where you're analyzing or over analyzing situations and this is due to a lot of the injustices that you have to that you've had to suffer from so it's like now it's it's really good for you to release people places things and situations that just no longer serve you because you don't want to be in that cold detached overly analytical type of energy or even paranoia at this time where you're actually being surrounded by love so again it's that transition that's happening good energy okay eight of wands queen of pentacles what did i say some of you definitely have a major opportunity coming when it comes to your finances and your abundance your stability the queen of pentacles is someone she's practical um very grounded very stable she has a good he or she has a good business sense okay this is someone who is um sensible like the the page of pentacles so again some of you you've possibly been working on something for a long time okay this is about to come into fruition and you're going to be given like a huge handout from from the divine the universe is coming in to bless you for whatever it is that you've been working on for so for so long and so hard the eight of wands is here there's something very significant about the next three to ten weeks something i, I don't know what date is going to be from eight weeks from now but i'm just saying within like the next two months you have an opportunity to really really see your life change the seven of pentacles is here this is you really reaping whatever it is that you've sown it's like you've planted a lot of good seeds and maybe all year you haven't really seen certain things manifest or come into fruition but i feel strongly that with this eclipse energy whatever whatever your blessings are they've been here and it's like you just had to cleanse and clear some of this old energy out um old habits old mindsets certain people situations maybe you needed to leave a job there's a, there's a, a deep cleansing or clearing that is happening in your external environment for many of you but internally as well like doing the shadow work and the healing getting back to that place king of cups here of just love after being five of pentacles left out in the cold also if you've had financial issues that is about to take a huge change like there's a huge shift coming for a lot of people. Your karmic justice is going to be in the form of you having that firm foundation, that overall security and stability. And I feel that the reason why spirit is coming in and, and helping to do this for so many people is because due to some people's financial situations um, or their lack, carrying this poverty mindset or lack mindset is the reason why so many people have moved into toxic situations okay a lot of people are in relationships or jobs simply because they don't have enough to make it so it puts you in that energy of being the victim and selling out it puts you in an energy of where you will do things that you know are not really aligned with your higher self because honestly you're in this seven of wands energy you're just trying to make it you're trying to stand up for yourself um you're trying to face whatever adversities that you have so these financial challenges are about to really be worked out it's like you're going to be given a leg up um so that you can actually get back into like i said just being a, a, a being of love and light it's very difficult for people to remain very positive and and go out in the world and be super optimistic when it seems like everything around you is falling apart so if you've been doing the work it's like finally you're going to be rewarded for your hard work i feel like you've had to be very patient you could should continue to be patient but just know that something good is coming okay don't allow any type of negative thoughts like i said patterns or mindsets though to keep you into um this negative way of of thinking or being yeah you're gonna have to be very strong during this time here because you're stepping into your personal power this is the time for you to really push hard like be very assertive be very ambitious if you want to apply for a job even if you don't think that you meet the qualifications apply for it there are certain like supernatural like <laughs> opportunities that are coming like god i feel is working miracles this is not just you have receiving a blessing but these are miracles that are happening like there you will get approved for something or get a job and you're like there's no way i could have gotten this you know that it, it only has to be god that's allowing certain things to happen but you still have to do your part in positioning yourself for those things and this is first you recognizing that you're a lot stronger than what you know you are
three of pentacles it seems like these are a lot of spiritually guided messages today um so that that kind of tells me too because it's not a very specific storyline that again it goes back to do not be worried about the specifics do not be worried about all of the details of a story really be focused on yourself your 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 healing your journey and and being very positive at this time the three of pentacles is here some something that you've been working on and it could be a relationship or anything something is being balanced out to work out in your greatest and highest good though right now just focus on trying to do what you love make sure that you're focusing on quality and not just quantity but someone is going to come in and really pay you well for something i don't know if someone's going to make you an offer some of you some um I'm getting specifically someone may come in and make you a crazy, crazy offer for like a house or a car. So if you're um, a, a seller or something like a private seller, maybe if you're selling a home or something, somebody's going to come in and make you an offer that is going to be way above the listing or asking price. So especially for those of you, if you're like into real estate or something like that, you may find yourself getting a really, really crazy deal on a property. If you're looking for a home, someone may... You know, you may get a huge discount, a car, or something like that. It's just something here. It's going to work out in your favor just perfectly. It's it's going to be beautiful. And this is because you've been working so hard. And I feel like many, many people are going to be shocked to find that you're going to receive blessings in areas that are not exactly the areas that you've been working on. All right. So maybe you've been trying to manifest a relationship, but you may get like the job of your dreams. Or starting a business or maybe you know you've been trying very hard to start a business and all of a sudden like your dream partner comes into your life it, whatever is coming into your life is not exactly what you asked for but it's it's a gateway it's it's still a part of your journey it's the missing piece or component to whatever it is that you need that's going to allow you to see your manifestation come into full force full effect like the full picture is, is just gonna make sense it's like all of the missing pieces there's a big puzzle here this is definitely stuff too that you've been working on trying to manifest for a long time it's just coming in because the energy is going to be able to hold it now i feel like a lot of people energetically were just not a vibrational match for exactly what they wanted at some point because there was so much negativity within and around you and I mean, there's nothing wrong with admitting that you have negative energy, especially if you're in environments where the, the energy is just not good. If you go to a job every day that you know you hate, most likely you're not going to be the most positive person. So by removing yourself from certain people, places, things and situations, it's going to raise your vibration and allow you now, to, like I said, to be a vibrational match for what you truly want. The King of Swords is here. Transformation. Six of Swords. The Wheel. And the Eight of Pentacles. Someone here, like I said, is being very intentional, working very hard. This is either someone that you know or this is you. Okay. Um, the King of Swords is someone who's very intelligent, well-respected. It goes back to, like I said, some of you could be dealing with someone who is into um, like the justice system or something like that. This could be a police officer or something like that. Someone in the military. There's a very analytical person here. Also, somebody could do something like in logistics. Okay, um, parking, transportation, logistics, or something like that. There's a huge transformation here. The Six of Swords here, definitely. Something here about transportation. Somebody's either getting a new car, relocating. Okay, someone could be um, in like the military or some type of job where you're being um, promoted into, like I'm here, like the director of logistics or something like that, whatever that may be. Uh, and this comes from after a long time of work. Someone is being promoted into a position where it's like, for sure, I'm I'm literally saying this where you skip. Like you may be a manager now. You may skip being like senior manager and go directly to like a director position. It's a crazy jump here. A huge lateral move is coming. So just make sure that you're preparing yourself right now for that. Um, you know, this is the time right now. Like I said, don't focus on anything negative. I'm getting specifically, you really may want to start cleaning just cleaning up you know your your daily habits and routine depending on who you are you may want to start purchasing more clothes because you're going into a, a season a, a lifestyle that is going to be 
allowing you to really level up and you want to make sure that when it comes because it's absolutely coming like without a doubt that you're ready and you're prepared for it okay this is a time right, right now where i'm getting strongly you want to be ready so you don't have to get ready and then you want to start working on making sure that you just stay ready because a lot of things are about to happen quickly in your life someone is watching you too i feel or you're watching someone i definitely feel like you're being monitored you're being monitored by a lot of people who are of course projecting and sending the evil eye but for some of you you're absolutely being watched and monitored also by someone who they feel like you're very insightful this could be someone who is online Okay, you could be online or with a platform or something like that. Someone is paying close attention to you. And this could be someone in the past. They were kind of watching you. Um, I don't I don't know if, if you're like me. I take very long hiatuses. You know, I take two and three month breaks from the channel. I'm the same way with social media. Like I will get off social media for a year and not think anything about it. There's somebody, though, that you may have connected with in the past. I feel like this person Either they're going to resurface or you may resurface online or something like that. I'm, well, I don't know. Maybe it's this new moon energy, but I'm getting so many specific images. Some of you are going to like do a, a you're going to reintroduce yourself or you may um, release like a product or a service for your business or something like that. And maybe you haven't been on social media for a long time or maybe you're about to start a channel or whatever the case may be. Someone's going to notice you and they're going to be like, wow, you know, I haven't seen that person in so many months or whatever. This is going to lead to some type of growth and expansion here because the page of swords is here with the three of wands and the four of wands. So this, I mean, a page is something, it seems very small, um, but someone I feel is going to be watching you very closely, like someone is watching your journey. Okay, this could be someone that you know from the past or just someone that you've crossed paths with. This could be an old coworker or something like that. I'm getting that specifically. For some of you, there could be a coworker. You could have left your job, okay, and be starting something new. This person, they're really proud of you. Someone here is watching you grow. They see that you're planning for the long term and they see that because you're making these choices, these new um, decisions in your life that like you have success coming and this is someone who really wants to celebrate with you it doesn't have to be romantic this could be a friend it could be a family member like i said it could be a past co-worker um you could be reaching out to someone it's like someone just wants to come in and say like wow congratulations but for some i am getting that this is a situation that could possibly lead to like a relationship like th this could actually lead to a marriage um something here about divine timing like if you've been separated from someone or like I said, this could be a friend somebody is just very proud of you they they see that you with the ego card here they see that you've let go of a lot of toxicity they like the way that you're thinking how you're moving this person is is like gonna fall in love with you from afar they could live at a distance or this is you but some this is more than a crush because this person, they know you. Or they feel like they know you based on like the content or whatever that you share. Maybe you're someone who creates content in some type of way, whether it's a blog, podcast, or something. Maybe you're starting to share a little bit more about your personal life. And somebody is seeing that like, wow, they didn't know what all you had gone through is what I'm getting. It's something about your story. If this isn't romantic, this could just be an audience you having like a platform or something somebody is really recognizing that your journey wasn't all just you know sunshine and rainbows it wasn't just easy you had to go through an ego death you you had to go through some things yeah and there's a renewal here so this is looking over a situation from the past this is definitely like a person coming in like hey you do you think we could give this another shot or Someone may want to work with you again. They used to work with you. Yeah. Someone hopes that you will look over like a past situation and have a bit of compassion with them. Like, will you forgive them? Or it's like somebody wants you to see them in a new light or they see you in a different light. Like somebody could have thought that you were a little childish before because, you know, you were stuck in conflict in this mental entrapment with the eight 
of sorts. Is maybe somebody saw that like you were going through a breakup or a separation. Maybe you had gotten laid off from your job or something like that. And they liked you, but they were just like, mm, it's probably not the right time because maybe you were a little bit defensive. Seven of Wands here. Or maybe this is someone that you dealt with in the past and they were the Knight of Pentacles. You just felt like this person wasn't quite on your level at some point. But someone is like, there's a new passion beginning here. So you or someone else are looking at each other now kind of like, okay, I think that we're more equally yoked. We can come together now. This could be romantic. This could be business. This could be family. It's just something was not working before because of circumstances and conditions. And it's coming back around now because there's been growth in a situation. So the Queen of Swords is here with the world and the Queen of Cups, going back to like I said before, you don't have to be up in arms anymore. That cycle where you have to be paranoid in fear, analyzing everything, um, judging every person, place, thing, or situation because of your past experiences, that's coming to an end now. It's like you get to actually just be happy and enjoy life because you've accomplished something. So this is allowing you now to get back into the Queen of Cups, King of Cups energy where you can be loving and compassionate. You can trust your intuition. Okay, I feel like when people go through a lot of spiritual warfare and stuff, you do get to a point where it's like you know that you're intuitive, but there is so much happening. Those, there's so um, many conflict and chaos spells and illusions being casted that you start to question your intuition. This is all being balanced out for you. Knight of Swords, yeah, something is rushing in quickly. Ooh, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So for some of you, there's something coming in quickly and it's not romantic, but for some of you, there is. There's two different situations. And remember before I was saying how whatever you've been working on, it's like you're going to get that, but I feel like there's something else that's coming in. So for some of you, it's like, okay, love is good. Now, all of a sudden you have a person, they're coming in, they're, they're focused, they're driven, they're ready to do business with you. Okay. Um... And it's not emotional. It could be a platonic situation or a business partnership. But then on the other hand, some of you or some of you may be receiving two different offers. You have someone that's really about to come in and they're going to flirt and <laughs> like really want to sweep you off your feet. It's going to be a, a, a love affair that happens suddenly. And it's the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. Well, listen, when it comes to this person that's coming in for some of you, like I said, this is going to be, um, this is going to be in your professional and your love life. Some of you, you have a person that's coming in. They, it may start out as business and it may turn into love. It may start out as love and it may turn into a business partnership. But the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles is here. There is a very, very stable, secure person that is coming into your life. And this could be someone that you already know. The Queen of Pentacles is out here with the King of Pentacles. This will be a match. The Queen and King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. And here, look, we have balance is being restored in your life. This is material and spiritual prosperity. So like I said, this is something, it's 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 love, it's spirituality, it's emotional. But it also brings about a beautiful harvest for you as well. Ooh, this is good. This is really good. So, yeah, don't allow yourself to be stuck. Two of Swords, Seven of Swords, that stalemate energy or feeling like, you know, you can't make a decision or you don't know if you want to, which direction to go in, overanalyzing a situation. Just let that go. Go with the flow right now because that's an illusion to keep you trapped. Everything in your life is being balanced out with the Six of Pentacles here. All of the good things that you've done is coming back to you and it's all going to be very unexpected. Like a lot of love, a lot of abundance is all coming in. Look at that, Two of Cups. So this is a partnership for some of you, for sure. Wow, wow. The Two of Cups is here with the Sun and then the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess. Yes, yes. And then the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Wands. Something is coming at you quickly. I'm also getting to, like, you need to get up. I mean, November 1st is in a few days. This is a timeless reading. Whenever you hear the messages, when you're meant to receive it, but you need to really get a move on with your manifestation. If you haven't written down like your goals, your dreams, what it, whatever it is that you aspire to do or be, you need to do that because you're coming into a, a time right now where you need to be very, very confident about whatever you're passionate about. It's like things happening in your life. They require immediate attention that like you have to take action now. 
if your intuition tells you to go out with somebody or to do something, just do it. Ace of Swords, because it's there's a, a huge breakthrough here. Like all of your obstacles are being just swept away because the truth is here. The truth is going to set you free. And I mean, the sun and the two of cups, there's a, such a, a nice, nice connection that's coming in for a lot of people. And you have to know, you guys, whenever we have this really positive energy, you can expect the attacks to come. The justice card is here. Let's just see what is the final outcome here. What did I just say? Five of wands. People are going to be upset, okay, jealous and competing with you because you have, you're in this energy right now of having a lot of abundance, of having, you know, some of you are going into a more, a more luxurious style, like I said, with these job promotions, um, getting, and sometimes, you know, of course, like your life will be upgraded because of the partner that you're with as well. The things that are coming into your life is really about to level you up. And yeah, people are gossiping. They're going to be jealous and envious. You need to block and tune all of that out. Yeah. Four of cups here. Do not listen to anything that puts you in that mindset that you can't have what you want. You know, I would say don't share all of your dreams with, with everyone because some people are going to just purposely put things in your mind to make you think that you can't have what you want. Justice, King of Pentacles. Some of you, your justice is going to be this King of Pentacles person. They don't have to be a um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Yeah, everything is fine. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but this energy, it's a very masculine like energy. Like I'm telling you, some of you, especially for the feminines, some of you who have been just going through like hard knocks in life, you have a very, very masculine, a very stable and secure person that's coming into your life. And they're going to, I'm telling you, they're going to tell you everything is fine. It, you can have 10 swords in your back. They're going to make sure that you're good. Okay. Seven of cups. If you've been drained, if you've been confused, all of that is coming. This person is rushing in. Okay. This person is coming in quickly to change your life, Empress. Oh my goodness. Okay. So Empress, you leveled up from the Empress to the High Priestess. Of course, you're going to be rewarded. Look at this, y'all. The Hierophant and the High Priestess. This is a spiritual union. This is a path that was hidden from you. King of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is going to help you come out of this phase of juggling. Um, a side note, though, just the Moon card. Like I said, for somebody, for, for some of you... Someone has had their eye on you, but they knew that you just were not ready or this is you. You just knew like you, somebody here has known that like you're the one or they could see it. There was a spiritual connection here and it was all about divine timing. Maybe somebody saw that you had a lot of options or this could be a masculine. There could be a, a, a feminine here that's been looking like, man, this masculine, he's in and out. He's hot and cold. He has a lot of different options. Something is shifting and changing now. Whereas you and this person, whatever changes you've made since you last talked to one another or whatever, it's very clear that the two of you are aligned now. So by doing a lot of um, cutting and clearing and cleansing work, I feel like somebody is going to be willing now to come in and actually express how they love. So this King of Pentacles could be somebody for some of you. I'm hearing stoic. They may come off as very like detached. Um, very focused. This person could be extremely driven in their career. This person is going to soon be like expressing to you that like, hey, I like you. And it's going to be reciprocal. Like it's it's equal give and take here. This king of pentacles and king of cups is the same person. You're about to see a softer side of somebody because I feel like whoever this person is, they're tired now of playing games. Like this person is tired of having multiple options. I feel like this is definitely the type of person they get a lot of attention. I don't feel like they want it, but I mean, if they want to entertain people, they can, but they're going to quickly notice that with you, they like you, they want you, they see you as somebody that, that they're compatible with long-term. And I'm getting, once again, another very specific, it's like, th this is something, you're going to see this person out. This could be someone in your community, okay? Like maybe, you know, it's so crazy. This could be somebody that you know on social media or something. You may see this person out in your community or at an event. And then you just start talking to them like, oh, I want to be more than just Facebook friends with you. And earlier, you know, I said like we can make it Facebook official. This is someone that maybe, you know, on social media or something. When they meet you in purpose and they, they really see your vibe, they're going to be like, you know, they like what you represent online. 
But I feel like this person is going to really see something different about you. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. So maybe you've been for a long time like, look at this, is, look at what I'm saying. The Hermit. Some of you for a long time, you've been like stressed out. Like you don't know if you want to share certain things online. This is a very, very specific situation. You've been kind of going back and forth with yourself. Like, should I start that podcast? Should I start that YouTube channel? Or, you know, should I start posting? Some of you could have um, not wanted to post or do something because of a past relationship. It's like it's something in the background that you've been waiting to final, just finalize before you started doing something else. Definitely someone here is watching somebody online, like on a computer. This person is coming in quickly. <laughs> Look, nine of pentacles. They're like, you won't be single for long because this person is going to marry you. Or this person may quickly want to like move in with you or tell you to move in with them. When it comes to, okay. If it's not you and this person quickly, I do see a relationship that's going to happen quite quickly. But I also see that you have something happening in your life. You're going to meet somebody. It's like a relationship, business and everything is all coming together at once. You're going to meet someone and whatever big celebration you have coming up, whether it's a promotion or whatever, this person is going to be there to celebrate it with you. So let's say in the next, you know, I, like I keep saying like eight week, three to 10 weeks or whatever. By the end of this year, if you have a huge celebratory moment coming up you may not be focused on love at all right now you have a person that's going to rush into your life i do feel like it's someone that is near you or that you know i don't feel like it's someone that you've had a relationship with before they're going to be there with you whatever this is and it's very beautiful because what i'm saying they're going to be starting this chapter with you the chariot is here with the ten of cups they're going to be going into whatever this new chapter is with you Okay, so if you have a grand opening, if you if you are I mentioned real estate earlier, if you are um selling your first house, buying your first home, if you are buying a, a luxury car, whatever it is, because you're being gifted something, this person is gonna be there with you. I'm seeing specific this may be the person that comes in like they take your pictures or you know, they say, Oh, congratulations on your new promotion. Let me take you out to dinner. That's going to be the beginning of you and this person like really going the distance. Something, oh my God, I was about to say, something here is going to move really fast. <laughs> Here's the eight of wands. Something is going to be like move really fast to temperance. And your angels, the guys, your ancestors, they're in the background working on this right now. They're just like, yeah, you, I want you to have this. Because somebody is watching you. Look, somebody is watching you and you can expect this to come in. Spirit is saying that the Queen of Wands, whatever you've been working on, you can expect this to come in. There's a manifestation that you've been working on. So again, if you haven't been writing things down, right now is not the time, you guys, for you to focus on negativity. Write down your goals. Know what you want. Like, write down and say, in November, I want this. In December, I want, before 2022 is over, these are the things that I want. I'm telling you, whatever it is that you're manifesting, it's going to come in your... God is in the background just like, okay, so what do you want? Because they're working on it. It's like Christmas is going to be <laughs> early, okay? You're going to be getting gifts constantly, big gifts. The Seven of Wands is here and the Ten of Cups. It's like whatever, yeah, and then the Six of Cups. There's something here, I remember I said before, something that you have wanted, but you were not a vibrational match for before. This is being protected. It's, it's being protected and the angels are saying, you can have this. It's yours. I just need you to show up. This page of pentacles, this is that raise or that promotion. You're going to be sitting really pretty soon. Oh, this is so good. Four of pentacles, be careful who you share your news with because you got some people that's going to be out to get you. Yeah. Don't tell everybody what you work. In fact, don't tell nobody what you're working on. Move in silence. <laughs> Move like a thief in the night right now. Yeah. Because I feel like some of you going to have some some bitter Bettys and negative Nancys. They're going to try to tell you everything about what you have coming in. Whatever you have coming in, it's not for anybody else to try to understand. Remember, that hate crime energy. These are the type of people here who they will watch you. Think about it. They'll watch you on your plate. You have good people watch you and bad. They will watch you. And then they will figure out how to target you. 
when you're going into your your event, that good season of your life, to then start trying to tell you all kinds of crazy stuff, sending their negative projections onto you. Just keep your heart open and keep moving towards your very beautiful brand new beginning. Do not pay this any. Y'all, I'm done. The Ten of Pentacles. I told you, you have something very passionate coming in, but your money is about to be on point. And somebody is going to be there to celebrate all of that with you. This is their death, rebirth, transformation, drawing a line in the sand. This Scorpio season, this right here too, this is that eclipse. Yeah, some of it is going to be bittersweet. But even when you think you've lost something, you're getting something else better. And for some of you, you're getting a partnership. Y'all, I can make it. <laughs> Look. The freaking two of cups. I just said you're get listen. I love when my, my cars just be talking for me. Thank you. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. You're turning your back to everything that doesn't make any sense to you, and you got somebody that's coming in slowly but surely. They're putting an offer right in your lap. Something you've been I'm telling you, whatever, whatever this page of pentacles is, this is some kind of news of a new beginning or something. It's about to be dropped right in your lap. It's like you've been working on it, but you're about to get the news. It's coming. This is a carrier. It's coming to you to say, yeah, that call to your destiny, that new job, house, car, relationship, it's about to be dropped right in your lap. And it's leading to a lot of stability and security. And you're going to love it. Ace of Cups. Love, love, love. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, you have some people in the background. People who could have taken action, but they delayed taking action and tried to delay you with trickery and foolery. Oh, they mad now. And they're going to be looking towards you, but with an evil eye, trying to be very, very toxic. So, again, just know that that's, that's what comes when you are blessed and abundant. The haters are going to come out. The woodworks, don't worry about it because you're going into being a star. This is like the... The most beautiful reading that I've seen. Ace of Pentacles, the star, and the six of wands. Somebody here is a performer or on a platform. You worked on this for a long time, though. Seven of Pentacles. And it made you very strong. And I feel like there's a lot of beauty in your strength, your, your pain. I always say your pain prepares you for your purpose and your purpose can turn into profit. Some of you, yeah, you've had to be very, very strong because you've invested in a lot and it's taken a really, really long time. Queen of Cups here. It has been a struggle for you to stay in a space of just love, um, trusting your intuition, still keeping your heart open to people when you felt depressed, lonely, upset, sad, or whatever the case may be. But it's okay because you have love here and it's the type of love that everyone is going to want. But it's just for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. So don't don't reflect on anything negative because you're manifesting peace, wish fulfillment, happiness. Someone who's very intentional. Some of you. Oh, I just got some of you. Remember, I just said someone is like a director. Some of you, you could be meeting somebody that's like a director or someone with a really, really good job. I'm be honest with you. Some of you could be meeting someone. They could be like at a director level or something like that. Because whoever I feel is coming into your life, you're going to be able, you're doing well, but this person is doing exceptionally well also. Not just talking about money. This is just someone, they're stable, they're secure, they're healthy, they're wise. You know, they know what they want out of life. I do feel like this is someone though who um, is highly sought after. And it could be because they're really attractive. It could also be for what they do for work or whatever. But um, I feel like the universe, God is coming in and is about to give you a huge break. And that person, I, like I said, somebody here is like a, in law enforcement or transportation or something like that. This person is going to come in. Look at this. They go, <laughs> I can't make it up. They're coming in with an offer. It may start out friends first or small. But I'm telling you, they're going to really help you to take the load off. You're going to celebrate with this person. They are an emperor. And you're going to start a brand new cycle with this person. They could be someone from the past. They're saying, hey, when you met me, I was a player. When you met me, things were not the way that they are now. I need you to just look past however it used to be and see who I am now. This is someone that, like I said, they could have done something to you in the past or things have happened to you in the past. And you may say this is too good to be true. Spirit is saying no. Keep moving forward. Get out of your head. This is something beautiful for you. 
you're going to finally come out of the cold. Don't let a lack mentality, poverty mindset, self-limiting, outdated beliefs hold you back. Something here is beautiful. It's good. It's not like what you've had before. Wow. 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 This is so, so good. Oh, this is good. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Dang, this is good. I mean, wow. This is so good. Oh. I'm just, I'm speechless. Like, this is so good. My goodness, this is good. I just want to sit in this energy. Listen, when the when the promotions come and the invitations come, y'all better let me know. Okay? I want to know all about it. <laughs> this is so good. So much hard work is paying off. Oh, my goodness. Just as I said that. What does this say? You're very close to achieving your goal. I literally just said, your hard work is paying off. I promise I didn't see this card. We are tapped in right now. This Scorpio energy, like, mm. tapped in, tapped in. A, ver a fiery climax approaches, a bunch of cards fell. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. The energy is gain gaining momentum. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Mm. Aquarius, somebody could be a Libra. We just saw the King of Swords. And then Aries, Aries, Divine Masculine. There's a boss out here. Like, you could be meeting a, a man or a woman. This person could for sure be like an attorney or something. Or in legal enforcement or like a person in the military. Like I said, I don't know, I was getting logistics, transportation or something like that. King of Swords. This person, I don't know. This person, whew, I'm really tapped into whoever this masculine is. I don't know. Like this person comes off as very um, cold. And maybe it's because they're into like law enforcement or the military. They, they're very militant or anal. Um, King of Pentacles, this person could be a creature of habit. They like things to be a certain way. This could be a military person. Possibly. Doesn't have to be but Libra. Like, they're very um, disciplined. That's what I'm saying for some of you right now. You know, if you don't have the best daily habits, and stuff, you may want to work on that a little bit because there's a person here. This person is financially stable. They're disciplined, very clean. This person, they will they will show you their side. You could have crossed paths with this person and they were mean. And you probably, <laughs> yeah, you have to just meditate and contemplate. Like Pisces, with like Pisces, when they get together with air signs, it's not always the best situation. Because Pisces or water signs sometimes can be so dreamy and free-spirited. And you get with a king of swords person that's super just logical, analytical, practical, a little bit stoic. They can... It can either be really good or or not so good. But this right this could be the situation with someone you're very different, but you complement each other well. But prosperity lies ahead. Don't let don't let your past hold you back. Even if you have a past with this person, don't let that hold you back. I'm telling you, there's somebody here that like you know, you've crossed paths with, they've seen you online or something. Somehow or another, it's like you're going to run across this person again. I'm seeing it so clearly. This is a it's, it started out very general, and then now there's something very specific. You are going to want to call somebody again or someone from your past. They are in new energy, but I will say I don't feel like this is someone that you had a relationship with. I feel like this is someone that you you, you worked with or you had some type of collaboration with. You maybe went you could have went out on a date with this person or something, and it just didn't work out. You were just like, no, it's not for me. The energy was just off at the time, but right now, whatever you're doing, however you're leveling up or this person is leveling up in their life, it's really good. It's a good thing right now. Wow. I am speechless. Oh my goodness. I'm speechless. This is so good. And whoever this person is or whoever you are, a lot of people want you. <laughs> like, I don't know. Somebody in here is, I'm telling you, it's going to be a problem because people are like, wow. This could be somebody who 
always talks about being single. Or maybe you've been single a long time. Somebody's like, man, that person's in a relationship, like a social media, Facebook, Instagram, official relationship. Because this is like falling head over heels for somebody. Wow. Oh, my goodness. The golden stars. Mm -hmm. 33, the stars are lining up for the perfect opportunity. Now, y'all, listen. I told you. I told you. I told you. Heart of Compassion, Supernova, Beacon of Light, and then the Challenger. Your relationship could be challenging you in a very painful way. You are a leader, teacher, and mentor for many people around you. So you could have had challenging relationships. And I feel like this is, like I said, it's putting you in a position now to be a beacon of light. So I'm definitely seeing someone here who is sharing their journey some type of way, possibly on a on a platform. Um the king of swords to me also someone could actually be like a therapist um someone who has to be very emotionally intelligent that's something else to to keep in mind supernova an aspect of your personality your ego self must die to make way for a new shiny star to be born so yeah like i said before you could have met somebody or this could have been you could have been a little bit of cocky you know like I'm living my life and I don't have to do what anybody else says or whatever. I just, I feel like when you, cause this is a relationship I'm picking up on. You met somebody and they were extremely career focused and maybe you were more focused on like your spiritual journey. Now it's like the roles have reversed. Now they want to be more focused on their spiritual journey and they're trying to, trying to like soften their heart a little bit. And now you're trying to be more career driven, like you're focused on your business. So it allows you and this person to come together and be opposites, but to really complement and help each other. Heart of compassion. Yeah, this person, somebody now is looking at things from a more loving, compassionate place. Mm, expansion is here and starry night. You are getting ready to move up into higher levels of awareness through embracing your life experiences. Um, it's something about you sharing your journey. A starry night, the beaming and glistening light from the stars reminds you that there is hope for your future. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so cute. Something or someone is about to bring a lot of hope into your life. Like, you're just going to get some things that you you thought that you weren't going to get. It was all about your patience. Something that you manifested a long time ago, I'm telling you, it's coming in now. God did not forget about you. Wow. Y'all, I'm, I'm so speechless. I just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave it here. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Cause this, this like, this was a love takeover, but this love, this beautiful love is coming in because you've done so much good work. And obviously this person has been doing work too. Ooh, I'm telling you, y'all, I can't, I can't tell you everything that I'm, I'm hearing and saying. <laughs> Annoyance and devotion. Listen, I'm telling you, when you met this person, or even if you watch this person online or they watch you, somebody was just like, I'm annoyed. Like, you know, I know that's not, that's not my type. Somebody, somebody prejudged you or you, pre, you prejudged the person and was like, yeah, I don't think I would really want to hang out with that person. Or you could have went out with this person. You're like, no, this person is very annoying. But this is someone who is going to actually be very devoted to you. I don't know what has changed. <laughs> this is so funny. It's so cute though. This is a serious relationship, though. Very serious. Like, inseparable. Spiritual awakening, see? Oh, my goodness. Some of you, this is like a divine counterpart, and you met. And they, like, I don't know. Somebody here is going through a spiritual awakening, or both of you. And it happened after you met this person. I'm not saying that they were the cause of it. I think that it was just time. So everything is different. And then harvest. We're in the harvest season right now. It says you planted the seed that the universe gave you. Due to your patience and growth, you are now able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Y'all can't make this up. 
divine union and reconciliation and then watch out what did i tell you watch out for the haters some of you have somebody that you are reconciling with okay reconciliation like i said it doesn't mean that you were with this person it's, it doesn't have to be that crazy toxic person that's showing up in your energy this could be someone that you went out with one time this is someone that you could have talked to via email or a, a dm a few times and you could have had something with this person it could have been casual it didn't work out since you separated it's been a spiritual awakening but you planted a seed i feel like this person planted a seed in you you planted a seed in them or you just were planting seeds with the with the divine and now something is manifesting you and somebody are coming back together and you're, there's going to be a divine union just be aware of gossip and envy and jealousy because there's something or someone close to you that's going to try to stand in the way of this so you guys you could have been dealing with someone and it was some type of differences or issues obstacles challenges be mindful of the friends and the family that are going to try oh you know you don't need to date a person like that or whatever don't listen to that because it's somebody purposely in your energy that's going to try to throw you off your path because i'm telling you people they recognize when you have something good coming into your life remember choose wisely <laughs> choose wisely what you listen to because there's this person they are different from you and you're different from this person spiritually your backgrounds could be different could be different you know different in age race location something but it's look express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture tune out what other people have to say this is not their business make the effort yeah don't be afraid of this it says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take religious factors what did i just say religious factors there's something different about you and this person could be a difference in age could be a difference in race you could believe in different things one of you could be more religious while the other one is more spiritual but the two of you have had a spiritual awakening this could have been someone that met you and they was like oh you're into crystals i can't talk to you now <laughs> now they're like oh yeah i'm wearing i've been wearing rose quartz you know that type of situation whatever it is though um your upbringing your spiritual paths could be different but once again like i said there's a past life connection here with this person it's a lot of passion between the two of you that's the reason why when you and this person somehow cross paths again and this could be someone that you've never met this is just an energy you're gonna know because you're gonna feel very very close to them i don't feel like it's it's a that instant attraction like you have with the karmic person this is someone who has actually done the work they've gone through an awakening wow so all these cards just fell you have true love this is the romance of a lifetime stay optimistic about your your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance you deserve love you are lovable let your friends help you ask for and accept the support from others and your feelings are real and worth exploring when it comes to these friends let your angels, your guides, and your ancestors and, and, and the Lord be your friends right now. Don't talk to er all of your friends because I'm telling you, when it comes to these beautiful, beautiful connections that's coming in, the people who claim to be your friends, a lot of people with the blessings and abundance that you have coming in, it's going to trigger people. They want to see you do good, but not better than them. And you are about to be on top. You are about to be on top. This this undeniable heart-to-heart -heart conversations and it is safe to love yes it is safe to love this person open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all honestly discuss your feelings with each other finances and, and career you and this person may have met you may do the same type of work okay i'm just getting um i keep getting bits and pieces this could be two people you both like work or you work a lot but you could be start you could have some type of platform or like something that you do creatively where you're sharing your journey and i feel like the two of you are going to recognize like wow we're we're a lot alike you know it's that type of vibe i'm getting this is like they're noticing your journey and you're going to start to see a lot of signs and synchronicities i'm not talking about angel i'm saying based on what they're they're sharing because whatever you're doing for work or in your business there's a, a personal aspect to it you know there's a story there's some kind of testimony and you and this person are going to connect 
with whatever this is. You're going to see like, oh, we're passionate about different things, but you've had perhaps the same pain points. So it's not a trauma bond. It's two people who are like overcomers. You've overcome something and you're like, wow, I, I see. I respect your grind. I see where you came from. This, I like this. I really do. I just looked at the bottom of another deck here and it's the star. Something here is destined to be. You manifested it before, but it wasn't time. You weren't ready for it or they weren't ready for it. A spiritual awakening had to happen. So for some of you, I'm getting to, if you're dealing with somebody now, there could be a separation. This separation may last 10 weeks. Okay. Almost three months. And when you cross paths with this person again, you will be ready. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. That's what this is. Some of you. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. You may separate from someone for about three months. This could have already happened. It could be happening now. It may happen in the future. Within about 10 weeks, you and this person, you're going to be back together. They will have gone through a spiritual awakening. Your life will have leveled up and this is going to pan out and be beautiful. It's, it'll be exactly what you want. It'll be the right person, the right time, the right season. It'll just, it'll be right. So just right now, new love and forgiveness. Um, a new love or a recommitment to love is is developing but forgiveness you need to continue to forgive yourself of things that happened in the past you may have to forgive this person because like i said this could have been someone you were with if you were i feel like if this is someone that you were dating i feel like it was only serious for a few weeks or a few months if that it may have never even been yeah this this could have been a strictly sexual connection wow okay i just listen y'all i'm telling you i literally just said that this could have been like a friends with benefits type situation. At the time, it was passion, but it wasn't enduring. Let's see what else comes out. I was like, I can't get out this energy. I just, <laughs> I'm being so nosy. <laughs> Does this situation align with your values and morals? Yeah, so you could have told this person, like, I don't want a strictly sex sexual relationship. I don't want to be friends with benefits type situation. You, you decided that you were going, I'm really getting here where you're like, you turned away from something and was just like, we're two different, we're at two different places in our lives right now. And you focus perhaps on your career and finances and maybe they did the same thing. Something about this is destined, I feel though. So you both level up old wounds and childhood um, issues need re revisiting. Yeah. You and this person came together and then you had to separate to heal. This could be a real twin flame actually. Yeah, two total opposites. Remember I was saying before, like a Pisces being water and air? This right here could be like twin flames. You and somebody, like I said, you could be total opposites, but you come together and you balance one another perfectly. It's like that yin and yang type of energy. One of you could be, you know, just, I, I just feel like the way that you look at things, your perspective about things is very different. And that could have been challenging. So you had to break away from this person to find out what was truly meaningful to you. I said earlier too, was something about healing family issues. So somebody here may be going, deciding to go to therapy or something or to heal from, uh, I don't know, this connection. If this is the twin flame, it probably re really triggered you. It probably <laughs> triggered you into healing because <laughs> it, it, it made you realize that, you know, maybe... It, you were accepting a strictly sexual relationship that made you realize that that was toxic and you didn't need to do that. You have to notice that you were doing something that weren't in alignment with your morals and values. So it was something more surface level at first, but this is an actual like counterpart for you. Passion. Try something you've never done before. Yeah, you and this person are going to have to come together and have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And that could have been the thing. Like, again, it could have been surface level. Maybe you and this person, you didn't have those conversations about the deep, dark past. I'm just telling you, like, somebody's going to see you out or see you online, and they're going to be like, wow. <laughs> I didn't know that you were into that, or I didn't know that this or that had happened. And from there, it's just going to take off. Oh, my God. This is so cute. I just, I see it, you guys. I'm telling you, like, if I sat here and told you all the images that I, 
we will be here all day. But I just see it. I see somebody. Um, I like seeing you in somebody like meeting in a store. I don't know what this is like a, a store. It could be like a Target or something. <laughs> I see the little car and this person is just like. I don't know. It's this is really funky kind of energy. Like, mm. <laughs> oh, so I see you lost twenty pounds. Like, <laughs> this is so cute. Yeah, this person. This person was unavailable to give you something other than passion. This is definitely someone who was very like much in their ego. I feel, and it's it also could have been someone just needed to heal issues. They couldn't give you what you wanted besides sex, maybe. Or a good time because they needed to heal. But look, this says your true love is already a part of your life. Wow. Intuition. You already know the answer that you seek. Retreat in time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. This is so funny. I'm so sorry. I'm just... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm literally seeing this guy like, oh, I see you lost some weight. And I don't know, someone has changed their hair. Like, so, this is a glow up. Like, somebody is separating and they're glowing up. And you're going to come right back with this person. 